Hey, so continuing in our series of the dark side of real estate, somebody made an off the cuff funny remark on my YouTube uh, comment section. They said, why don't you talk about the dark side of XYZ real estate? And I said, okay, fine. Let's talk about Middle Earth, the dark ages and the dark side of real estate. So this is part of the series of every single <laughs> stakeholder and every single value chain a contributor in the dar in the real estate industry in Dubai I've mentioned the rather darker side as well right with some solutions as well okay so today we're going to be talking about the dark side of developers what are some of the nefarious activities I'm not pointing out any specific developers so just keep that in mind but I'm going to point out some of the nefarious activities that developers generally undertake which you should, as a buyer, generally be wary of, okay? Now, before I go any further, there is a link below if you'd like to work with us and my merry band of advisors to help you secure good investments in Dubai. Hit it, click it, let's talk. Let's see if we both qualify to work with each other. And do the subscription, bell icon, and the like button, okay? Does something to the video and others will be able to find it as well, okay? Show real fast. Welcome back. Okay, so one of the things that developers should do in the Dubai market, and you gotta understand. There's two sides to the Dubai market. There's pre-2007 and 2008, and there's everything after that, okay? Pre-2007 and 2008, we had a lot of developers come into the Dubai market, and the Dubai market's regulation was not fully up to date at that time. You gotta remember, Dubai faced this extreme, severe, fast boom where pr rock, pr rock prices skyrocketed, okay? Literally skyrocketed. Super, 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 super fast. So the regulation came into the market to keep up with it and they did a decent good job. But what ended up happening is developers ended up leaving construction projects empty or abandoned construction projects, which the Dubai government had then had to step in to actually assist using the regulation in place to finish them off. One of the things that the Dubai government in 2007, 2008 introduced was that, that every developer must use something that's called something called an escrow account what's an escrow account an escrow account is very very simple essentially speaking every project apartments that are built by the developer is an entity on its own so let's call this a b c l l c okay now what ends up happening is for this project, when the money that's collected, it must be collected in a dedicated escrow account. Okay, how do I make this over here? In a dedicated escrow account, and money from this can only be used for the construction of this project, okay? So that's anybody, any sales made must be used for construction constructing this project and any property that you buy in abc llc let's say you're an individual here so let's say you are a happy go lucky person if you buy a apartment let's say or you buy a, a apartment in abc okay any money that you send must be sent into the escrow account which must be used only to build this does that make sense yeah almost what the developer cannot do is take this money and buy another piece of land to build another project okay this money that is paid must be paid into the escrow account and must only be used to develop this building so that this investor 
can then get that money back okay it can get his apartment back essentially speaking money cannot be used cannot be used for anything else which is why over the last 15 years we've seen in the dubai market companies might have gone out of business businesses might have gone out of business no developer has run away from with people's money Dubai has done an amazing job with the regulation, regulatory framework to make sure that the money that's paid is paid into the escrow account, which then goes to build, develop, develop the, the building. What's the bad part? What's the dark side? Well, some developers will take money outside of escrow, which they can actually then use to buy land that money does not always then have to flow here it can flow here it can flow here it can flow anywhere and this is not okay so this is illegal it's not allowed it should not be done you as the buyer should not be paying into a non escrow account that is not linked to that particular project how to check the escrow account get in touch how to know that you're transferring money into an escrow account get in touch okay that's a video on its own but generally speaking not holding anything back go to the dubai rest app and you will see if the project's actually registered okay so you, you'll see if it's registered and it's a real project if it's not you're in trouble and if it's a registered project, it will have an escrow account ready. If it's not, guess what? Be wary and don't invest, okay? And this is the dark side of some of the developers, not everybody. Dubai has got a very good regulatory framework and they're getting better and better and better. But it's your job as well as the investor to make sure you're keeping an eye out on this, yeah? All right. If you want to actually buy a property in Dubai, you want expert advice and service from us, look, there is a link below, hit it, click it, we'd be more than happy to work with you. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon, that's something to the algorithm and then other people can actually see the video. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video, I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud, I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.